We'll see. We'll see what this is like. Instruction. To move left, use... I have no clue how this game plays, by the way. I didn't look up, like, anything. Okay. Oh. But it's been getting good, really good reviews. Oh. And people keep asking me to play it. All right, I guess that's it. Copium? Copium 1, Copium 2, or Copium 3? Chapter 1. New game. you get lost, you can always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the start button or the A key is a good idea. Okay. Start button. Okay, let's go back. That's the perfect song. What's the start button? Oh, I see. Chaos. Alright, I'm gonna hold up the cross. Anyone in here? Oh! A note! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, May 3rd. Okay, wait. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow. Straight past the well. Straight past the well. Hope this is straight. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, that scared me. Ho! Wednesday, 8 p.m. All right, so where are we? Okay, the well is there, and then the, there's a... Quiet. Is there a house here? Maybe it's over here. Uh-oh, we probably shouldn't stay near the bottom of the screen. I guess let's just keep going this way. Aha! Holy shit! Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right. That may seem harsh. Can we go in? We can. There's a key. And there's a ghost outside. But I have my cross. Get out of here. Oh, can we save it? Oh, there was a save there for a second. Alright, let's go this way. Bra, 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 bra. Bra 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 bra. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. 
Thank you, Fatty Master, for the soap! Um... Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think you might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this is just a day after the twins' birthday party. Oh, Rusty. Mr. and Miss Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down... Th Guys, can you even hear me over the music, or is it good? Um, there was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look you give a, ch a child gives you. Quiet now. Too quiet. Turn it down 5%. 5%. 10. 6. 5. 10. There we go. Look at the photo. Looking. Ah! I like this more now that it's quiet. Because the music is loud as hell. Is there more than one button, or is it just movement in space? I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. Okay. That thing comes at me. I'm holding up the cross. Just like in real life. Blood. Blood. Hello? Nothing. Look, it's a little ducky. Oh, it's a little, little tub. I don't feel safe in my own home, my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't, I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. Thank God Bob home, comes home tomorrow. This place is haunted. It's scary with no music now. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Bruh, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Uh-oh, this doll. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me. Like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help, 
from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. I think this game has like 30 endings, by the way. I've played many games like this where it has a very slow start and then a bunch of crazy shit happens and then every time you replay it, it's like something new happens. Look at the dollies. Guys, look at the dollies. Look. An Etch-A-Sketch. I'll probably only do chapter one today because uh, I want to play a lot of different games. I want to keep the tempo high today. Keep the tempo high. Look at us strutting across the house. Hey, it's... Hey! Uh-oh. Guys, are you scared? Let's check the TV. Boo! Sorry, it's the day before Halloween. I had to throw one jump scare at you. Huh. There's a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, this is what Silent Hill 2 looks like on PS2, playing the non-enhanced edition. If I still have my NES emulator, maybe we'll play uh, some random horror games on NES. Any drip drops? Is this going to be an ending where I slip and crack my head? Guess not. Bester's Quest has a banger of a theme song. Uh-oh. Hello? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceeding of the rite for long. Miss Spartan was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. That was a horrible attempt at remake. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allard lying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh, dear Amy. Um. Uh. Um. Uh, okay. Change your religion. Uh, uh see you in four months. All right, let's go back upstairs, guys, if you can hear me. Okay. 
Thank you, magical girl. For six months. You know, let's go back down there. <laughs> oh, maybe this actually activates one of the endings or something. Oh, well, let's find out. Oh shit! Whoa, here she comes. Achievement unlocked. Touched for the very first time. Achievement unlocked. the doll okay will this protect us no Thank you, Doctor. And thank you, Yui. Here we go again. Mortis. She's here. There's only one button. How hard could it be? <laughs> Okay, maybe you maybe you Mortis. actually Mortis. Maybe you have to aim at the correct one. She is here. She's here. What if I did get out? Okay, that was a cheap spawn. That was a cheap spawn. Just saying. She is here. She's here. Oh yeah, that RNG is brutal. She spawned on ya? Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, we're gonna leave. You told me to leave. Oh, we're gonna come back, actually.
He is here. I'm scared. Are you guys scared? She is here. Okay. Did you guys hear that? Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't good. Golly. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She's my, she, my superior, father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having are real. Oh, nightmares. She's still there waiting for, her, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, no, I love you, and I'm sorry, John. John! Mortis means big wiener. My God, what happened to you? My God! My face is pretty. I have to finish what I started. <laughs> She's my priest. Bruh. Back off, ho! Uh. My God! My face is well, wait. What? I have to finish what I started. I have to finish what I started. Maybe I just have to kite this guy around. While I do damage. I mean, what else could he do? I could leave, I guess. He's got cross hands. Holy sh Mortis. Mortis. Here we go again! Oh, yeah! Die, bitch! Mortis. Mortis. Oh, 
work. <laughs> Thank you, Ramsey. And Coke. Mortis. Okay, I didn't try that yet. Fuck, I tried to leave. Mortis. Mortis. It's a boss fight. Just, just drawing the pentagram. Mortis. Mortis. Help! It's like a wow boss now. Maybe I'll just stay in the middle. <laughs> okay, I I didn't move because I was like, maybe that's maybe that's a gimmick. Mortis. The middle is a, se a semi-safe space, though. I thought I was safe. I don't know. Maybe there is a, maybe there's literally somewhere I can go, but then. Okay, I figured as much. Okay, my range sucks. I'm staying in the middle. So the last time I died, I was just, just like, eh, that won't hit me. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Ouch. She comes fast. Oh. 
Alright, this is this is the tricky one. This is the tricky one. Help! Oh, you can still do damage when she's oh, she's sending out Shadow Man. Mortis! Yeah, yeah. See ya, bitch. Swag walk out of here. <sighs> Feels good. Uh oh. Give me that. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna do with that. I got two choices. Alright, let's go downstairs and stand in the ritual zone. Point up. Boom, baby! Down. Down, 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 down. A gun with one bullet. One shot. Do not miss a chance to go. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, bro. I can't kill myself? Alright. Fine. Guys, it is a gun with one bullet. Actually, that's probably... I, I don't know. Uh, let's look for someone to kill, I guess. I was gonna shoot the mirror. But I thought it'd be boring. But if I don't see anyone to kill, I'm going back downstairs. I mean, well, someone in chat said there were six endings you can get with the gun, so I was like, well, one of them's. Hey! <gasps> Woohoo! A gun with one bullet. Woohoo! Hey, Ripper! With one Going back. Oh, I have a, a gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Hell yeah, dude, 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 hell yeah, dude, 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 hell yeah, dude, 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 dude. I'm so glad this works. Bruh! Bruh! Mortis! Where is he? He's faster now! Now he's slow. 
Now's my chance. He's not. <laughs> Dear Mick Glashen, it has been 30 days. It's the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomena, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since the first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute. Sincerely, John Ward. Oh, we're back. Spinal. A gun with one bullet. Holy shit. A gun with one bullet. Spinal. Fellas, that's called baiting you a ton of YouTube comments for the algorithm. Mispronounce any fucking thing on the internet? You got yourself like a hundred free comments. And I can say that now because they've already paused the video, scrolled down, and started rage typing. Wait, let's go back in. Oh, may as well shoot whatever. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Let's shoot purple. This purple. Uh, this might be the actual thing to do. I'm scared. Oh, never mind. I guess... <laughs> no. A gun with one bullet. Yeah, guys. I I'm aware of what Chad is going to tell me to shoot. Literally anything with color. I know. Oh! We could go shoot the rubber ducky. A gun with one bullet. Do, 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 do. No way, bros. I'm shooting the duck. Get cucked, duck. Nope. A gun with one bullet. How many bullets does this gun have, do you guys think? A gun with one bullet. I love the voice acting. Hey! That something moved in the bed. Well, there's nothing else to shoot, really. The picture, I guess. The pumpkin! Assuming that's a pumpkin. Damn it! Alright, let's go back out. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Maybe outside. Guys, for those who are spamming outside... By the way, this is a game that people are gonna backseat. It's fine. It's fine. If you fight the backseaters, you're, everyone's just gonna have a t terrible time. But as you can fucking see, there's multiple things to do with the gun. So I'm not rushing outside to do the actual proper thing. A gun with one bullet. Thank you, Donna, for the 36. A gun with one bullet. I'm coming for you.
Bruh. A gun with one bullet. A bullet with one gun. How many people in chat are scared? Who goes there? Uh oh. No spirits. And my work here is done. He's gone. Well. I'm going back for the reload. We're heroes. <laughs> Thank you, Divine Slash. Hey, buddy. Hey, water. Thank you, Big and Toasty. Where the hell's that house? Yeah, shoot first, ask questions while shooting. It's a win-win. Ah, here we are. Thank you, Danny, for the three months. Nah, games like this, so... Like, for a game like this to set the tone, oh, I can't go back in. And for it to set up scares, it has to stop the music a lot of the time. Or like, you know, if it's constantly playing music, you... It's it's much harder to to deliver a good scare usually. Not that it can't be delivered, but um, I understand why there's no music a lot of the time. Because I'm never scared if there's music on it. In a game like this, it requires no no sound for me to be like, oh shit. Thank you, Ninja Monkey. Look, the resubs are providing music. Guys, do you want music? Just sub. Just sub. Get your beautiful music popping for the subs. Popping. There's my getaway car. Peace out, homie. I will say of the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My cock is in my wilderness. I shall not be afraid. Oh, Father and son. Epic, dude. Steam Cardinal Gifford. Well, we got mortised. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Kontaku, for the four months. Thank you. Uh, um, uh, progress with Michael's afflictions. Affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy of such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside of him affects both his, affects his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. Oh, shit! Oh! New background and new effect? Oh, 
virtual boy. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Oh, we got this one. All right, let's use this one. Confirm. Chapter two. I'm not going to do chapter three because someone in chat said it was insanely long. Um, but we'll do chapter two. Thank you. Angelica's gaming for the raid. Um, is chapter two long? A lot longer than one. Like double to triple the size. Hmm, okay, I'm just gonna refill my coffee and use the bathroom and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. That was really cool though. One sec. Because I wanna do I wanna play a lot of different games today. Um not just one and then for like eight hours and then a second one. One second. Everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Oh, oh. Part two hype. Uh, I didn't try it yet, Gaster. No, I didn't really have any drive to try it. All right, let's do part two. This wait, it's not like three hours, is it? It's um, it's more like one or two. Oh, 40. Oh. Let's go. Oh shit! I'm this guy! I killed this guy! Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. 
Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. Who is Davies? I don't know. Do we know Davies already? Text-based games, I retain zero information. Oh, I have the mess on the screen. Derp. I mean, was he mentioned in a note already? I can't even name a character. Oh, hey, buddy. Not looking too good, bud. Holy sh... Oh god, that made the game lag. I took a picture of the picture. Oh hey! Davy! Hi Michael. <laughs> Reveal your name to me, demon. Now, tell me. Reveal your name. Uh oh. Back here. Uh, Davies? Who are you eating? Who are you eating? Do you see you? What have you done? <laughs> yes, me up. Yes, me up. I don't know what any of these words mean, but I've heard them a thousand times. Dios mio. It's 2 a.m. Oh, here we go. My God. Have you forgotten already? The notes? Yes, I have. I've forgotten every single one I've read. read. The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Okay. <laughs> Dios mio! The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. So we're in Connecticut. Ah. Whew. Okay, we're in Connecticut. Guys, you have to remember the notes, so when I ask what's going on later, you could be like, oh, you read that, but I'll tell you. Yeah, this was the best until Cooper. No map this time, no map. Dios mio! No. Oh. Okay, let's go down then. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go down. It's Italian. Thank you, Runaway Ice, for the 17 months. Thank you. What language is Dios Mio? Dios Mio! Uh, 
Oh, oh, I thought Ground Zone was being serious. That it wasn't Spanish. Do, 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 do. I got baited by my own tricks. So are you telling me in RE4 Remake there might be some villagers that go, Dios mio! Alright, up at the rocks. Maybe, Derek, if it looks epic. Dearest Disciple, Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable return to the saved family tomb. Whenever you are in need of rest. Ooh! Hey, bitch boys! Oh, shit. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh! Yeah, they just want to play Reavers and they're stuck in that the place. Dios mios. Have you guys ever said a bad word in another language but didn't realize it was bad? Yuri Kami, holy shit. Up, wait, wait. Right, up, left. Up. Might be right up, left, down. There might be none of these, and I just go the other way. I didn't say start saying those words in chat, but cool, cool. Hey, baby. Ah, you stupid.
Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really cr close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. Yikes. Stepmom? Justin, bro. Step mom. It's locked. It's locked. Sir. Shit! Put that in- put the umbilical cord down! No, they won't be. The October shirts are just for the- Just for the one month. So if you do want one of the ones this year, you still have a week to get it and then it's gone forever. I did bring one back, but... I changed it though, so that it was... Different. HELP! Oh god, the checkpoint. The checkpoint is very bad. Eh, it's like a battle pass item, exactly. And it's like that because that's what I enjoy in like video games. I love when there's an event and it's like, hey, you do something only 0.0001% of the player base can do and you get this cool thing. And it's only available for a week. Good luck. Fuck you, by the way. Mortis. Mortis. Oh! Oh, I thought that would be just enough to get some DPS Mortis. out. I just wanted to, I just wanted to optimize my DPS. But no. How's Mr. Failmore? Don't worry guys, we'll play some Reavers tomorrow, or maybe even today. I know that's what you guys want to see. Oh! Alright, let's go up to- Whoa! He changed his position! Mortis! Oh shit! Easy. Wait, what games are you waiting for? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Me. I'm pregnant. Not even a little happy. 
Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. It's Rosemary's baby. Uh, no words. Just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and I was shocked to see that the woman standing in the middle of the path, now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You mean that is already out and coming out, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. No, I don't hate reading. It's, I hate fucking horrible notes that are littered in, in video games. I hate when... Um... I'm not, not even gonna go into it. Wait. I don't think this is the way. Thank you, Mr. Long Name for the 73! My favorite thing in a game is when you read a note. Like most notes in games, th this game is like based off that. Like you're reading all these short stories that lead into the main story of the game. I get it. Um, and so they're necessary. It's, it's like, it's part of this game. But like in a, in modern gaming, I love going up to like a one pager and let's say you just quit out of the, the note instantly. And then the, 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 the character that you're playing as reflects on the note. Says so like, like you read a note about like an underground laboratory is like, holy shit, there's an underground laboratory in this place. Like, you know, they reflect on it a little. So you don't really have to read it. Or you read about like, oh man, that Marcus guy really is a psychopath. Yada 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 yada. Ha! Okay, I don't know the pathway to go. So, if I'm, this guy is just pointing right, and that is the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. so. Yo, Sugar Papa Wolf. Thank you, get your ass to Mars for the 16 months. Hmm. Oh yeah, Buck. didn't work. Sir? I don't get it. I understand that this guy, this, like, 
they're obviously pointing in different directions. Right? Up. Left. And then this guy's... I, I take it as up. But they're also standing on, like, this guy's standing on the safe house. This guy's standing on the thing that's up there. I don't know. I already tried right, up, left, down. Touchdown! That guy still slightly has a head, I guess. I'm just gonna do right up left. Right. Up. Left. Right, up, left. Up. Because the guy is pointing up, essentially. Right, up, left. It's weird because it's like not even a frame of load. You're just in there. Maybe the hands mean two times up. Well, they don't because I just did that. I don't get it, guys. Hey, I've seen Barbarian. It was... Pog. Oops. Sir, how do I do the puzzle? Oh, wait. Left. Up. Up. I mean, he has something written on his chest. Right, see? Left, up, up. Sort of. What do you, wait, what do you mean? I was doing it right, but the puzzles just doesn't work very well? Thank you, Lay, for the 18 months! Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. The editor in the chat! Oh! Help! Got him! Got him! Thank you, Wingy, for the 15 months! Thank you! I will, sir. Thank you. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked at around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away. But by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I've been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. Okay. First at the top left point, then down. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh oh. I'll take it. Hmm. Oh, now we can draw the the pentagram. Going. Uh oh. Which one is he? Who's that? She guards the door to underground purgatory. Confess thy sins. Uh. Uh. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us the week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we'd heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently that has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room. And maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. All right. Done deal. Hey, I got one of those. Walk Basoop. Who was that? Looking good. Okay. Sermon is in order. You know, Sermon is pretty sexist. Why is holding a ceremony in church called a Sir? Men. Watch the chandelier. Or watch the chandler. Shit. Watch the candles? Uh oh. A sermon. That scared me. We died. Watch the candles, folks. Watch the candles. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Lars the Metallica drummer? Hello. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seats have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. Mm -hmm. A year later, 
the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I could save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me that my past sins. Lotus said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the set of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him too. For his mercy and yours forever. I'll get the kid then. Deal. Wait, where are we? Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if he can't get those boards off some of these doors. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but... Okay. Okay. Let's go get that kid. Let's go get that kid. Do do do. Kid, the scarecrow says, "Oh shit." I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it. Behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me and the scarecrow and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. Uh-oh. A gaping hole. The scarecrow says, this way. Buddy. We'll help you, buddy. Just give me a second. What do you want me to do, bruh? I'll never find the kid. Hey, light. I don't have my gun with one bullet yet. Will you help me? Watch the candles. Oh, wait.
Oh, it showed an eyeball on the thing, and we know this is the secret passage. I just figured. Like, oh. One candle left, fellas. Mo Mortis. Hmm. That was baloney. It said don't try and trick her. Maybe I should just do whatever. Just just leave her be. Just leave her be. Mm. Yo, my reunion. Thank you for the 25. Thank you. Let's go this way first. Mortisers. Just don't try it. Don't try and trick her. she in here? No. I don't think this is the kid it was talking about. We'll never know, Musculus. We'll never know. Wait, I was hurting her, so maybe I can dodge that attack? Probably not. Maybe, though? This, her hitbox seems too big to dodge. Mortis. Yeah, the graphics are fucking bitchin'. They're bitchin'. This is the room. Rose's flush. Rose's flush. She's right beside me. Cake. Did she say carrot cake? Darkness surrounds the carrot cake. This is my final memoir. Hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of that demon. That demon. Hello? Bunch of gibberish. Bunch of j oh shit! I gotta follow that gibberish. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know where to start. Squiggle. Let's start with Squig. Help! Huh. <laughs> 
Alright, this one seems like the one. Nah, nah. Mortis. Oh, how she walking. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Oh, hell yeah, dude. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling Khan. The bodies, the bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night. In what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel, No Gallows, and Troy Ingalls. Ingalls? That's the name of the guy from... Uh... Carrier are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed. Paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnet. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Ward had him impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood and Ingalls because after all, they were worshipping, devil worshipping thugs! who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at, at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help. Their pleas for mercy 
You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not... Religious stuff, religious stuff. And... Oh! I'm pressing as fast as I can. Help! Oh! oh. It's the new me! A whole new world! Candy tunnel going in. Death awaits. Do, 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 do. Alistar. Yeah, I hate him too. I... Satan lives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ghost. Neko. Read. All right. Don't. When. Don't move when you see it. Not moving! Not moving! I'm going in. Or not. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of corpses down here. Mortis. 
Maybe I was supposed to do something in that other room. Mortis. Thank you, Jordan and Oatmeal. And a reunion. Da 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 dodo. Thank you guys for the re-s-s-subs. Is it Mortis time? Oh wait, you just go in here. Ah. Oopsie. Dios mio! This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except for those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Well, brah. Bruz, I stopped moving the second he showed up. Wait, so I guess you don't. I'm going to try one more time just in case. But I swear, I as soon as that guy showed up, I was like, hands off the keyboard. Hands off the keyboard. Mortis style. I know not what I do. Chaos Red. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Mortis. Um, thank you, Pete, and thank you, Lynn, for the 16, and Pete with the 9. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mortis. Aha! Yeah. I don't know about that one. Yeah, this game, I really like Salazar House. That was really fun. I really like this game too. It's like, it's a super high quality game, uh, but I do find it hard to follow just because it's a ton of reading and religious stuff, which is typically hard to follow. Up we go. One step at a time. Bruh? He got me! He got me! He got me again! Oh, fuck. Yeah, Halo. That was sort of cheap. The saying. I have been enjoying it. I hope you have been as well. Look! I haven't really got to do much besides stream this October, but... Bruh! I ain't moving! Actually, you know what? I am gonna move. Screw you!
Oh! Ready to go. Oh, shit. Ready to go. There's a lot of people in here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The DPS, dude. Look at the DPS. Oh my god, he's like a raid boss. At least he tells you when he's coming. Sorry, Buster. Just got. Did you see the DPS I was pumping out? I got a light now, you pooper. Come here. Thank you, Landing Gaming, for the 19 months. Thank you. Uh, live. Oh. It's locked. It's locked, Mr. Zug. Shoo! Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Help! They hate the light. Come here, kid! DPS, DPS! I need more DPS. <laughs> uh, push them all at the same time. Get! Get! Got him in a CC chain now. Shoo, bras. You got pest? Get. Got a key. Got a key, got a key, got a key. Hee hee. Got a key, got a key, got a key. Thank you, Google. Hey, hey, kid. Where'd he go? I'm gonna kill him. There he goes. Do I have to catch him or something? Well, I got a key. Let's go back. Where are those ladies at? Oh. 
Bomb! Crap! Back, you demon! Let's let us go. Let us go. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Finally, duo Q partner. Yes, it's true. What happened to Amy? You are no murderer. God, there is no fuck you to have God. But Amy found her soul. Let us let us go. Let us go. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna be doing twice as much DPS now. Bruh. Get him! Use, use your cross! This guy watched Boondock Saints. Back, you demon! Uh oh. I think I was supposed to protect him. Yeah! Oh shit. I don't like this. Get up, priest! Back, demon! Demon. Oh, this again. Mortis. Help! Oh! God, you have like no time to move. My DPS is gonna suck this fight, guys. I apologize. Gotcha, you fucking pooper! Back! Back! Holy sh- Oh, it's zero. She's back. She's back to her old tricks. <laughs> Bam, Yeah! You got sh shited on, broski! What? Yeah, she must have hit the enraged timer. I was going for max CPS there. Oh, he's bottom. She's coming. Oh! All right, well, I'll let her. I'll let her come to me on that phase. Yeah! Oh! Oh! 
Drawing that pentagram now? Oh, dude, she's coming right for me! The tracking! Mortis. <laughs> That's the best strat, honestly. I see ya! All right, baby girl. Baby girl. Oh. Okay. Just gonna start carving the pentagram. Mortis. The track. I don't know what to do with the tracking Mortis. one. I mean, you probably just move. Mortis. Mortis. Oh, the DPS there. This fight's a DPS check. Okay. She's cracked. Maybe you just need. I think you just need to lay into her on that, but. No, it's a DPS check. No, I can't, I can't tell any, like, I'm brain dead. I don't understand what she's doing at all. Okay, now she comes for me. There we go. And now she's going back into her thing! It's a DPS check. John, I can't do this anymore. Molly. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea, John. I'm not going in there. Yes, you are. Oh, no, he's not. John, it's not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived a nightmare. Yeah! Did I really do the right thing? Yes, you did. I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, Maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Save the boys. Is he getting hired on as a new writer for the hit series, The Boys? Road to Redemption. Let's go. Oh! New background, new effect, new chapter. I'm not doing the new chapter, but this was really cool.
Um... Toilet colors. But I wanted to... I, I wanted... I'm, I'm playing a bunch of different horror games today. Thank you, Mr. Mall Man. Thank you, cute. Toilet colors, though. I love this. I love that you can change everything. Oh! Now, this is still the coolest one. Stretch O Rama. <laughs> By the way, there, and one reason I'm not like too keen on like, oh, we, I gotta finish it now. Chapter three. It's because there's like 30 endings in this game or something. So, um, anything can happen. Watch this. And I'm starting to get a headache from the the the, the music. This is an awesome game though. Really, really, really cool. Very, very high quality game. Woo! Woo! 